हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग विद एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव मेन्शन कंप्लीट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ टेस्टिंग दैट इज ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग एज पर यूर इंटरव्यू पर्पज एंड सेम एग्जाम पर्पज एंड ऑल्सो एंट्रेंस एग्जाम पर्पज दिस ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ टेस्टिंग आर इम्पॉर्टेंट लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन In this session, we will discuss about black box testing, their types, techniques with example, and advantages and disadvantages of black box testing. Let's see all these points one by one. Now, the first thing is what exactly black box testing. In previous session, we discuss about white box testing. In white box testing, tester having a detailed knowledge about internal structure, internal programming, and working of your product, right? but in black box testing tester only focus on input and output of your product they didn't have any knowledge about internal structure internal programming and working of your product basically tester give a input value and check that your product generate the expected output or not if your product generate a correct output then black box testing is pass otherwise fail which is also called as behavioral functional and close box testing this black box testing is performed by the software tester software tester generate or write different types of test cases for the input value purpose there are different testing tools are available like qtp selenium load runner then tester use these tools for black box testing purpose now the next topic is types of black box testing basically black box testing having two types like functional and non functional testing functional testing again divided into the unit integration system and acceptance testing non functional testing divided into the compatibility performance and usability testing we will discuss this types of testing with example in next sessions the ne next topic is black box testing techniques and the first technique is equivalence partitioning now see here in this example suppose in any registration form there is a option age and particular text box is there now this text box accept the value from 18 to 60 age only right so at that time for testing purpose tester use equivalence partitioning technique they divide all the input value into the different group for example see here suppose they accepted value only 18 to 60 age right I mean, this is a valid group. This is a valid entry. Now, which are the invalid entry? Less than equal to 17 age, that is invalid, and greater than equal to 61 age, that is invalid, right? So, instead of using each and every input value for testing purpose, here test one value from any group for testing purpose. That particular this age text box generate a proper outcome or not? This is called as equivalence partitioning. they partition your input value into different groups the next technique is boundary value analysis boundary value analysis contain upper and lower limit of a variable or of the input value see here in this example the same example is there suppose in registration form there is a age option and this is a text box so they accept the value only 18 to 56 age only right now in boundary value analysis there is a invalid valid and again invalid these three partitioning are there now valid means 18 to 56 this age is valid which is acceptable by this text box right now invalid means minimum minus 1 see here minimum 18 or maximum 56 so invalid means minimum minus 1 means 18 minus 1 17 or below 17 are the invalid input next maximum minus 1 means 56 plus 1 that is 57 so 57 and greater than 57 which is invalid input for this age right now valid so again valid there is a minimum plus minimum means minimum value 18 plus minimum means 19 maximum 56 and minimum maximum is 55 means this is a boundary of each and every input value so by entering this boundary value tester check that your software is producing a correct output or not now the next technique is decision table testing 
Let's take an example of your Gmail account. See, while logging a Gmail account, you can use a proper email ID and password, right? Now, in this decision table, see here. Suppose you correctly enter email and password, then your Gmail account page will be open, right? Suppose you enter correct email ID, that is true or false, and wrong password. So, they will show the error incorrect password. Suppose you enter wrong email ID and correct password, so they will show you the error incorrect email. And suppose you enter wrong email ID and wrong password, so they will give you error incorrect email. So this is called as decision table. Here tester identify different input combinations and system behavior of the particular product. The next technique is error guessing. See, tester having a different types of product testing experience, right? So for that purpose, they use some guessing techniques for which type of errors will be generated in particular product or in particular model. Like divide by zero error is there, then handling null value. For example, in suppose in registration system, there is a mobile number is compulsory to enter mobile number value. But still, you submit a particular registration form without entering a mobile number. Then they will show you the error, right? Then also file upload without, without attachment. Then in particular registration form, uh, passport size photo size is confirmed. Means only 10 KB uh, size is required, right? So you suppose you enter file upload with less than or more than limit size, then particular error will be generated, right? So this is called as error guessing. Now, the next technique is straight transition testing. See here. Suppose while login a particular account, suppose when you log in a Facebook account and you enter a three time wrong password. So after entering fourth time, your particular account have lock, right? So this is called as straight transition testing. In straight transition testing, tester capture a complete behavior of particular software product. They try different input values uh, in particular functionality and only specific number of attempts are given. See here in this diagram, first attempt, second attempt and third attempt, you enter a wrong password and after that your account will be locked, right? The next technique is all pair testing technique. Basically here, tester test all possible discrete combination values. Suppose in registration form, there are different checkbox, radio button, list box, text box, this kind of components are there for accepting the input values. So, tester take check that all these combinations are work properly or not. Now, the next topic is advantages of black box testing. The main advantages is tester does not need any functional knowledge or programming knowledge for testing purpose. And this black box testing is efficient when there is a large scale project is there. And here tester generate a test cases as per the client requirement whether a particular project generate a proper input and output as per the customer requirement or not. They also find out any contradiction in functional specifications. Now the disadvantages of black box testing is without having any programming knowledge, some time to generate a test cases or to write the test cases is very difficult, right? Next thing is, it does not reveal the errors in control structure or in programming language. They mostly focus only on input and expected output of your project. Now, sometimes there is a large sample space of input or large group of input is there. So at that time, it consumes lot of time for testing purpose. So this is all about black box testing. Thank you. Keep learning.